Big Things in Australia, part two. Let's see what weird and wonderful things we're going to find out about today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. All right, episode two. Let's see what we're going to find. The Big Watermelon. Um... I don't know why, but for some reason, I was, as soon as I saw Big Watermelon, I thought it was going to be the whole watermelon, uh, painted green and yellow, the, the, obviously, colours of a watermelon. Um, now, on the first episode, I worked out that most of the things were in locations that represented that statue, that, that big thing. Do watermelons grow here? That's all I can assume. Watermelons grow here. Let me look at the detail. I actually quite like the look of this. The textures of the watermelon. Um, how the seeds are kind of indented into the watermelon but sticking out as well. Actually, this is quite a pleasant one. Bit weird, but a pleasant one. Big watermelon. The big lobster. Lots of people told me about the big lobster in the comments down below in Kingston, South Australia. Maybe when I go to Adelaide, we may see it. Whoa, hello. Jesus. Um, it's quite cool. It's weird, but most of the things are weird. Uh, but that is pretty cool. But... That is a really weird sight, staring into this. Uh, it's like staring into the abyss. Sometimes it's like it's like looking uh, from behind Pixie or Astro, if you know what I mean, the cats. It's like looking into a black hole. Um, but actually, it's really good. Look at the detail on it. The paintwork is really good. It's detailed really, really well. Must be something to do with the sea in that area of Kingston. But nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. The big whale in Hervey Bay. I assume it's Hervey. Whoa, is, is it wood? That is brilliant. Oh, wow. That is incredible. It's, it's, um... I don't know what the term is when, when you join bits of wood together like that. But that is incredible to get the um, these bits here, the circles, the circle round bits. I don't know what you'd call them. Uh, that is wow, wow, wow. And then on the other side, it looks like it's sort of a mirror texture. This might be my favourite so far. The big whale. That is brilliant. I just I love the two contrasts of going from the wood to the mirror effect behind. That's amazing. That's my favourite so far, I think. Frankie the Chrome Gnome? What? What the hell? Um, all I can say for this one, this one may be a health and safety hazard. If Australia is known for being hot, then that is basically a giant mirror with the sun beaming on it. You wouldn't want to be too close looking at that, would you? But... Uh, I, I would love to know how they made it because there's no sort of obvious signs of welding where they've, they've put it together in different compartments but what, okay, right, so the other ones have a reason, right, the other ones have a reason for being there, so you know, um, the cod the great, the big cod it was on the river where the cods the giant cods are and, and, and that makes sense, but pretty sure there's no gnomes that live in Hang on. Live in Frank Frankston, Victoria. So a strange one. Pretty decent. That is cool. The big carpet snake. <laughs> Queensland. Um, that's very arty. I like it. It's very arty. Snakes are a little bit creepy though. So a little bit creepy. Uh, just, you know, the eyes, it just makes me think of the snake from, which is the snake from one of the Disney films? Uh, I don't know if it's Aladdin, maybe there's a snake, 
which is quite scary childhood memories you know and just looking at the eyes of that snake but it's cool it's it's very arty it's not as it is realistic but i think with the the actual decorations of the scales that's more arty than realistic i think but still realistic but yeah quite cool very good next up the big dog tumby bay <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a name, he's Rover. He's called Rover. Uh, this is just uh, almost just piping. I assume it's just piping or, yeah, it just looks like piping, but it's really cool. And actually, it looks realistic. It does look realistic. I don't know what type of dog it would be. Not, maybe a terrier, maybe like a little Jack Russell, maybe a Labrador. It's hard to tell. You know it's a dog. Uh, but but knowing which one it is, yeah, probably a Labrador or something like that, I think. Yeah. Nice. I like this. Right on the waterfront. What's the next one? The Big Merino in Gulburn. What is that? I don't even know. Uh, hang on, let's get rid of the penny smith. Um, I don't even know what a Merino, I Merino is. I assume it's a... Is that a lamb, goat, sheep? Why? <laughs> I just can't get it off my head. Uh, <laughs> it's got a big scarf around it. This is weird. This is absolutely mental. I assume this is on a, a near a farm, a, 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 you know, with sheep, lambs, uh, goats, whatever. This is really bad of me. Uh, but it's it's really strange. I wonder what it's made out of. It looks like it's made out of rock. Some form of rock, which must have taken ages to chisel if it is made of rock. Because the detail in the face is actually pretty decent. <laughs> Rambo. The big meat ant. I didn't even know there was a thing called meat ants. Whoa! Wow, wow, wow. That is, that honestly, that's not my favourite, because the other one was my favourite, but this is brilliant. It almost looks like it's up a telephone pole or something like that, and it's just climbing down it. It looks fragile. It's probably not that fragile, because it's hard to get the size, how big it is, because it's, I assume, up in the air. But it looks fragile with the legs. It looks like the legs are made from a different material. Looks like a metal material, I don't know, but then the... The main ant is made of wood. That's awesome. That must have been a real, real challenge to make that. And that's what I like about them, actually. The ones that seem like a real challenge to make. This is this is epic. That's really, really cool. Who would have thought I'd been impressed by an ant? The big wombat. <laughs> it's turned into a climbing frame. Yes. Okay, the big wombat. What I love, the detail is brilliant. The colors are brilliant. But what they've done is they've turned it into a climbing frame for kids. That is incredible. That is brilliant. Because it's all well and good having these big things. But if they're just there, you know, let, you know, for some of them, especially this, because it's a big wombat, uh, it's in a sand pit. I don't know if that's any relation to a kid's play area. But I love that they've 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 put uh, you know the climbing the like the rock face type climbing climbing frame stuff. My words are not coming out today. But I love that. That's brilliant. Gets kids actually using it rather than just looking at it. And yeah, all right, not everything should be climbed on. But I think this is a brilliant one to be climbed on. And it, you can look like you're riding it, riding a giant wombat. The big watering can. What do you get a big watering can for? Oh, it's got... <laughs> um, okay, it is on an art trail. It's on an art trail. It's got a satellite dish which you haven't seen since probably the 80s before I was even born. Uh, now, I'm assuming this is a water tank, something like that, maybe a water tank that has then been just converted to look like a, a giant watering can. But that's really cool. I like what they've done. I don't think it's that well decorated. 
but I like what they've done. They've, they've made use of something that maybe doesn't have a use anymore or has a dual purposes. I like that. I really do. That's really cool. And I think that is the last one. Hmm. Which one is your favourite? My favourite... Hang on. My favourite is the giant whale. I love the details. I love how it would have been put together, the contrast of the mirror and the wood. That is my favourite. What is your favourite from today's? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget like and subscribe. Join the Discord server. Check out our merchandise down below as well. And I will catch you next time.